Hello Hacktubers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will show you the real way how you can make adjustable voltage power supply using an old ATX PC switching power supply. And this will be the real way, way because on the internet you can find a lot of fake videos how easy you can turn your switching power supply into adjustable. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna show show to you the real way how to make that and also you can charge a car batteries using power supply like this one let's start today video so many youtubers make fake videos how you can add a ordinary potentiometer like this one to be placed right here with wires soldered it on the on the board and you will get a adjustable voltage power supply it's not easy like that believe me those are fake videos and I'm gonna show you as I said a true way how to do it so you can make your switching power supply from PC computer you need to have a DC to DC converter you can make one just like mine or you can buy like this one it's it's around I don't know ten dollars but if you can buy this one, you can make your own, like mine. And it's a DC to DC voltage booster, voltage in 12 volts, DC output voltage from 12 volts to 50 volts. And it's around 150 watts, can deliver 150 watts, let's say, if you are placing this input of 12 volts the output will be 30 volts and can deliver 5 amperes 5 amperes times 30 volts is 150 watts before connecting to the ATX power supply and show, show to you how it's working the schematic diagram you, you will find at end of this video how to make this and I made it in two parts this is with the integrated circuit the oscillator and this is the switching power supply with the big capacitor with the inductor the powerful MOSFET transistor this is Z44N and let's try it now letting you know that the yellow wires that are coming from ATX power supplies yellow give plus 12 volts the black one is ground the orange is giving 3.3 volts the red ones are giving 5 volts the green wire is power on and right now we are using only the black one and the yellow one ground and plus 12 volts that will be connected to my DC to DC converter that will boost the voltage from 12 volts to desire or adjustable voltage from 12 to 50 volts 150 watts I'm using this board adapter for ATX power supply that connector goes just like this and we have a switch on and it's working great with connectors we have ground 12 volts I got this board from Aliexpress I will put a link in the description below and on positive and ground I'm gonna connect my DC to DC converter just to connect my multimeter to my step up voltage converter and everything is connected the converter is getting power from the power supply ATX power supply and I'm gonna measure the voltage on my multimeter turning on and yes it's working great it's giving 35 volts and with this blue thing on the board you can adjust just to light up okay you can increase or decrease the voltage all right it's dropping slowly but because the 
capacitor is slowly discharging itself 34 volts it's work, working great from 12 volts I'm boosting the voltage to 30 volts DC voltage and I can get 150 watts how great is that I can charge car batteries or I can light up a high voltage LED that I'm, I will show you right now I, f I connect the LED chip that works on 36 volts on the output I will place just like this so you can see and I'm not sure that you can hear me pretty clean because of the fan but now I'm gonna increase the voltage because it's dropping 18 volts 20 22 you can see that light up the LED it's super bright right now we are at almost 36 volts and it's working fine it's very bright <laughs> all right my point was you can boost the voltage from ATX power supply to 36 volts so you can run your devices next experiment is can we charge a car battery because car battery need 14 volts or 14.4 volts but ATX is giving 12 you need a boost or booster or converter like mine if you can buy it you can make it before showing that you can charge a car battery lead acid battery I, ca I have connect two car bulbs in series so, so I will get 24 volts right now it's set on 13.9 but with adjusting the the trimmer potentiometer on the board I can increase just to hook up the neck all right and you can see on the multimeter that is pulling 1.3 amperes from the power supply PC power supply and I'm, I'm gonna increase to 24 volts 16 19 20 22 23 here we have 24 volts from the converter that is getting power from the ATX power supply and it's pulling 1.6 amperes that is great it's working great here I have the lead acid 12 volt battery turning on 25 volts I'm gonna adjust that to 14.4 volts okay We are close. 14.4. Yes. You can see that on this tiny LED voltmeter that the converter is giving 14.4 volts. And on the multimeter you, you will see how much how much current is pulling or charging the battery. Connecting. And look the voltage little bit dropped to 14 volts because it's charging but it's pulling 2.3 amperes and it's charging using old ATX switching power supply from computer it's possible if you have a DC converter step up like mine or if you buy a new one I build it it works perfectly this battery is almost charged that's why the amperes are dropping and the voltage is rising on the battery 14.1 it's working great I like it I'm super excited that I share this that you can charge your battery with ATX power supply adjustable voltage with this tiny 
blue thing call it multi turn potentiometer you can adjust the voltage and this converter can deliver 150 watts wow I did it couple of days of working on this converter and work great 14.2 volts the amperes are dropping because the battery is almost fully charged and here it is the schematic the circuit diagram of making 150 watts DC to DC converter from 12 volts to 50 volts from 12 to 50 volts 150 watts and and it's great that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya